Welcome back. This is Reese from Smoking in Kentucky. And um, I was going to spatchcock a chicken today. And I was going to do it on either my Acorn or my Weber Premium kettle. But um, it's raining. So nothing's getting any love today. So I guess you're just going to have to be with me and uh, watch me prep the bird, I guess, today. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow to smoke this thing or to grill it. It's gonna be really good. I don't know if I'm gonna smoke it. I don't know if I'm gonna grill it, but it's gonna be good. So wait until tomorrow. Okay, so to prep this bird, first off, you wanna wash this bird because it's still in a in the wrap, you know, and it's it's just a chicken. But you know, it's just a regular chicken. It's a chicken you can get at Walmart. That's where I got this from, and it's six dollars and forty-five cents. It's a whole broiler, whole young chicken. That's all it is. All you want to do is cut it out of the log on, you know, a little package, and, uh, you know, rinse it off. Okay, while rinsing the chicken off, you want to rinse it off with uh, cold water or cool water. Um, nothing special, you know, nothing special, just run, run water over it, you know. Get all the crazy stuff that might be on it, all of it. Or whatever and uh, rinse the back of it I like to run the water through the chicken sometimes there's a, a bag of giblets in the chicken let's see if there's one in here not in here but uh, you know so there's not one inside this chicken which is you know that's cool but sometimes there might be a bag of you know innards inside the chicken. So just, you know, rinse it off. My son's in there having a concert, so, but yeah, just rinse it off and uh, kind of dry it off a little bit. Okay, now that you have a clean bird, now you want to dry it off. So just get you some paper towels and just start to blot in the skin, you know? Lock the skin. Get a lot of that moisture off that bird. You know, underneath his arms, underneath the, you know his legs or whatever. Both sides. So just flip him over. Flop the breasts again. Underneath the wings again. Just want this bird to be as dry as you can get it. I like to open up a pocket in here underneath the skin between the bird's skin and, uh, and the actual body of the bird. Just make like a little chasm, I guess. So now we got that. Burst dry. Now you're going to go behind it with some um, Morton's co or coarse kosher salt. And you're just going to put it on that bird. Just sprinkle it all over them. might think you're going too much it's all right all you're doing is trying to dry this thing out that's all you want to do all right so you do it to one side of course do it to the other side too <laughs> that's my son So you just salt that bird. Pat it on there a little bit. Then you just put this bird in the refrigerator. The regular refrigerator. So, take the bird. Stick it in your regular refrigerator. 
tonight, a brisket that I'm gonna do. <laughs> that was funny to my son for some reason. But yeah, just leave it in your refrigerator for 24 hours or you know 18 hours, whatever. And um, we'll be ready to season it and put it on the grill tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day and we are back. Um, the chicken has been resting and I guess uh, salt brining overnight in the refrigerator. Just salt in the refrigerator, let it sit, elevate it, you know, uh, on a rack. And then we come back today because we're going to spatchcock this chicken. And then we're going to have to cut this whole little center out. So let's do that. Well, first off, let's sharpen this knife because this knife is probably dull as, you know, um, 80 year old conversation. So here we go. Pass it through a few times. A little bit of downward pressure on it. There you go. Knife should be sharp enough to cut the back out of this bird. So now we transfer it from the rack that it was on. Make this go vertical instead of horizontal. All right. Now you're just gonna find the, the back strap, or I guess the backbone of this of this chicken. And you're just gonna cut down. Hear that? I'm just gonna cut right through all that nasty sh backbone vertebrae, whatever you wanna call it, that's on this chicken. That's all you wanna do. Straight down. You're gonna get it out. Then you do it to the other side, like so. You can pull on this if you want to. Daddy, are you doing your channel? Yes, I am doing my channel, sweetheart. That's my son. His name's Khalil. He's awesome. Stop talking about me. Stop talking about you on my channel. Okay. All right. So now the back has gone out of that chicken. Now we're going to flip this bird over like this so that the breast is up. And we're going to try to, there we go, we're going to break that vertebrae even more. All this stuff right here, I don't like this. So we're going to get rid of that. I don't like chicken booty. So get rid of chicken booty like that. He can go right there too. All right. So now your chicken is open. It's time to season this bird. And um, yeah, today we're gonna be using Kinder's Master Salt. It's literally my favorite thing to put on a steak, but today we're gonna start it as the base layer for my chicken. Garlic, sea salt, and butter. So let's just open this up. Put a little bit of Master Salt all over this bird all over this bird. Now mind you, he's already got salt brined in him, you know. He's he's already got some flavor. He ain't got enough flavor, not nearly enough flavor for me or my family, so we're going to put this salt on here, this master salt. And uh then I like to come behind it with a little bit of Laurie's lemon pepper. Right? Put some lemon pepper on this bird. All over it. All right? And you remember I made that little pocket underneath the skin. So I like to take a little bit of that lemon pepper in my fingers and just kind of massage it directly onto the skin. I guess not skin, the, the inside of the bird. I don't know what the hell you would call it, but uh, the actual bird. It's going to actually go on the chicken. There's pockets that you could create, you know, everywhere. You could put pockets everywhere and put the seasoning all around it, you know, if you want to. I like to go at it. Liberal. I like to be very liberal with mine, all right? Then because I like a little bit of spice. My son don't like spice, for real. But I like spice on mine. So we're going to put 
a little bit of this old Thompson's Nashville hot chicken. And it's really just for color. You know? Just a little bit of color. Right? So there you go. That's just enough. You just you don't need a lot. If you're like me, if it was just my chicken, me and my wife was eating it, it would be loaded down with Tony Tony Chickries or slap your mama's Cajun rub or anything. Right? So now we got one side of the chicken. But uh we got to flip him over. You know, just like you would do anything else that you're working on. You want both sides, you want completion. So we're gonna put a little bit of the seasoning pack on the inside of the bird. Just a little bit. Same way we did the outside, we're gonna do the inside. All right? We just don't gotta be as liberal this time as we did on the inside or on the outside of the bird. A little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. Now I don't know what this combination is going to be like, I really don't. I've never used this seasoning spice combination before, <laughs> so it's going to be an experience for both of us. And uh. Now the chicken is seasoned, seasoned up, and he is ready to go on the grill. Okay, I had to clean off these grates a little bit because it was looking like a mess up in there. But uh, today we're going to use the slow and sear as our receptacle for the fire. Okay, so the charcoal is hot. Um, we're gonna dump it into the slow and sear. It holds a whole chimney, uh, Weber chimney. So uh, we're gonna just pour that in there. Put this little, little guy over here. And spread these coals around. Let's get rid of this shit, whatever that is. Biomass. Lighter, lighter, charcoal lighter, fire starter, whatever the hell it's called. Yeah, let me show you something. With that full basket, our full chimney of charcoal, this grill gets up to 700 degrees really quick. You know, really, really quick. And that's all right because we're not gonna put it on the grates. And it's not 700 degrees all the way inside that thing. I mean, it sounds like it is, but it's really not. It's doing a little convection. So it's coming all the way over the top. The heat's coming over the top, rolling off the top of the dome. And it's coming out of this little spout right here. So this is really where the heat that I need to know the temperature is right here. And um, it's pretty hot. So we're going to put the chicken on there. Might hear some sizzle. Then we're just going to leave that doggone thing for her. A little bit a long time actually we're gonna leave it for an hour um, I want to position this chicken I guess I'm just gonna put the chicken like that on here and um, I'm gonna leave it alone I'm just gonna set it down we're gonna put the carcass side down flesh side up and we're gonna get this thing as close to this corner over here on this side as we can get and then the heat is just gonna come over the top of the dome, go over the chicken, and come on out. So it's gonna take us about an hour. And I'll see you guys in an hour. I said I wouldn't see y'all for another hour, but I forgot that I gotta flip this bird so that it doesn't just cook on, you know, hella heavy on one side. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. Probably can't without destroying this bird. So let's see. No, I'm gonna need two hands. So here we go. Let's get 
get this like so. Lift him up. Should have just got two pairs of tongs, but whatever. And that's all we gotta do. Just flipping from one side to the other side. So now he's oriented the other way so that both of these breasts can uh you know do what they're supposed to do. And uh Back on the lid goes, and now I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so chicken's been cooking for a while. Um, you know, consistent steady temperatures to 600 plus degrees or whatever inside the chamber. So I know that this chicken's probably done, but I'm going to get a temperature on it real quick, see what it's doing. Um, we need it to be 165. I really like mine to be like 170. Uh, so we're gonna check the breast. It's gotta be 165 at the breast or whatever. So let's check and see what it's doing. I'm not gonna sauce this bird because we don't really want sauce. We don't really like sauce at our house. Um, so let's see, let's see what it's doing. This is going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. It's stuck at like 145, 150. Let's see if I get up to 160. Like I said, I thought this chicken was done. I'm pretty sure it's it's probably done, but we're gonna leave it on there for a few more minutes. Let's check the other breast. The other breast is done. You need to see the juice just oozing out of this bird by me puncturing it. But uh, I'm going to leave it on here for about five more minutes. And uh, then we're going to take this bird off. And uh, look at this thing, though. Look at it. All right, so we had it on there for a few more minutes. It was done already, but um, I really just had to clean off my cutting board. So we went inside and uh, washed off the cutting board. Now we're going to pull this chicken out. And we're gonna fuck me, Jesus. I mean, I didn't mean to cuss, but look at this chicken, man. Look at this thing. God. All right, let me get it off of here before my mouth starts watering and stuff. And um. Let me just put one gripe down. I got this Weber Premium, and it's it's probably my favorite grill. You know, I use it all the time. Love it. The only thing I don't like is that if I want to use the hooks, I can't have the lid off because I can't get to the utensils underneath the lid. So it's like I gotta put the lid on the ground every time. All I wanted was my tongs, you know? But whatever, great grill. Great grill. I mean, the gold standard, I guess, you know. So let's get this bird off of here. Get it over to the cutting board. And see what we gonna do with it. And that's a beautiful chicken. If you know me, you know how I feel about chicken. So, there's really no such thing as ugly chicken to me, because I'm gonna eat it anyway. But uh, it's a good looking ass chicken right here, bro. Good looking chicken. We're gonna use my offset as a table. It's got a ledge for a reason. But uh, yeah, we are gonna I guess we just gonna cut the leg quarters off, cut the wings off. Yeah, we're gonna keep the leg quarters as a whole quarter. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, whole quarters. And so, listen, listen to it. Let's 
chicken is going to be delicious. So let me show you how to, you know, section it off. You shouldn't have to do anything because it's probably just going to fall apart. But, uh, you know. So there's your leg quarters. <laughs> One-handed. I didn't even have to stabilize the chicken, you know. There's two leg quarters right there. <laughs> Look at this chicken, man. Like, I'm, I'm going crazy about this chicken. This chicken looks like it is going to be something special. I can't wait to taste it. So there's the leg quarters. Uh, and you know what? I'm just going to... Right down the middle. Right down the freaking middle. There's four pieces of chicken. Uh, eight piece chicken with a thigh, a leg, a thigh, a leg, a wing, a wing, that's six, and two breasts. So yeah, eight pieces of chicken, but I really just did four because I didn't want to break it up into anything else. But this mother, this thing right here, I almost cussed. This thing right here is about to be five. If you're from Kentucky or anywhere around here, you know what five means. It's going to be five, bro. So, uh, yeah, let me eat my chicken. <laughs>